مدی مصباح صحافی ہمیں جوائن کرے ہیں گازا سے اس وقت وہ الاقصا ہسپتال کے سامنے موجود ہیں ان کی طرف چلتے ہیں تھینک یو مدی مصباح فار جوائننگ اس آن نیوز ایج یو آر اسٹینڈنگ ان فرنٹ آف الاقصا ہاسپٹل رائٹ ناؤ واٹ از دا سچویشن آف دس ہاسپٹل اینڈ دی ادر ہاسپٹلس ان گازا رائٹ ناؤ Yes, first of all, thanks for having me. As you can see, that, that right now I'm existed and located in the vicinity of the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital, which is located in the central area of Gaza Strip. And uh, the situation here is so difficult and so dire. Uh, it's not about the collapsed, uh, the collapsed health sector uh, here in the hospital. And uh, it's not about the medical situation. as a whole but uh, on the other hand it's it's uh, also about uh, the humanitarian situation as you know that uh, we have thousands of the palestinian civilians who fled their houses from gaza city and the, the northern part of gaza strip uh, into the into the central area of gaza strip where we are located right now we are talking about more than 3000s of the people of the, the civilians who fled their houses and evacuated their neighborhoods under the Israeli air strikes and under the demands of the Israeli, the Israeli army in order uh, to push them to evacuate Gaza city and northern Gaza Strip. So they found no place to go but the hospital. They took the hospital as a shelter. So we are talking about a complicated situation right now. Uh, needless to mention that the, uh, the, the general situation regarding the uh, providing the medical health, the medical care and the medical, uh, uh, the medical service for the injured people and for the Uh, injuries here in the hospital is, is so difficult because there is uh, no access to uh, the medical equipment, no access to the medicine, the, uh, the, the, the rooms inside the buildings and inside the departments are totally uh, overwhelmed with the number, uh, with the incrementally increasing number of the wounded people. As you know that the Israeli occupation forces till this moment for the 38th uh, day uh, in a row Uh, maintain the, the, the targeting and maintain their airstrikes against the Palestinian several areas here in the Gaza Strip, including the central area of Gaza Strip. So we are amid uh, a real catastrophe uh, happening and taking place in full view of the international community and full view of the whole world. Until this moment, the people here, they are really struggling in order to have any access to their basic needs. Uh, which uh, and this kind of humanitarian situation is getting worse and worse with the time. I mean that uh, the, the, the situation yesterday was much better than the situation today. And the situation today is much better uh, uh, than the situation tomorrow. So this is the situation. It's graveling uh, and it's exacerbating when it comes to the general situation. Uh, and uh, as you know, that till this moment, Rafah crossing, which is the only Uh, the only crossing uh, for the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip is still shut down without having any entry for the basic humanitarian needs and the fuel, basically, uh, which is... Yes, because our relationship there, because the internet service is not so good, so our relationship is not so good. We will try to say that no one has been bad from this time. The situation of the day was bad from yesterday. The situation of the day was bad from yesterday. The situation of the day is bad from the day. Medical equipment is not available. The medicine is not available. The basic needs of the people have been developed. In a very large number of people have been affected. There are some people who have been affected. There are some people who have been affected. There are some people who have been affected. کچھ لوگ جو کہ کامیاب ہوئے بھی ہیں وہاں سے نکلنے کے لیے وہ آگے کس حال میں رہ رہے ہیں بہت مشکل ہے یہ تمام کا تمام سلسلہ ہر روز کی انہوں نے کہا جو ضروریات ہیں ان کے لیے وہ ایک سٹرگل ہے وہ ایک جد و جہد ہے ہمارے ساتھ موتی مصباح دوبارہ موجود ہیں موتی وی سو ہوریفک ہوریفک ایمیجز آن سوشل میڈیا اینڈ سم آف دا میڈیا آؤٹ لیٹس آف بیبیز بینگ انجرڈ بیبیز ڈائنگ اسپیشلی ایٹ الشفا ہاسپٹل وی سو بیبیز ان انکیوبیٹر Um, and, and they were forced to shut down those incubators and take babies out. Um, have they been looked after now? What is the situation of those babies and elderly? Yes, the situation, as you know, that uh, Gaza City and the Shifa Hospital is entirely isolated uh, from, the, from the, the surrounding areas in the Gaza Strip. And the situation there is, is so dire and difficult. The, the, the Shifa Hospital is going to be a collective Uh, graveyard for the Palestinians 
inside the Shifa, Shifa hospital vicinity and yards. It's not about the Palestinian patients. It's also about the new form uh, babies. Uh, and it's about also uh, the, the injured people and the wanted people inside as they have no access to the basic humanitarian needs and necessities just like water, food and sanitation because the Israeli occupation till this moment actually, uh, the, the Israeli occupation forces till this moment surround uh, Al-Aqsa, uh, Al-Shifa, sorry, Al-Shifa hospital and they prevent any entry uh, into Al-Shifa Al and they also prevent anyone, anyone else from uh, or among the people who are existing inside the Ashifa hospital to get out uh, from the hospital and everyone moving there uh, is, is, is shot dead by the Israeli occupation forces. So this is the situation right now. We are talking about a real genocide, a real massacre committed left and center against the Palestinian civilians. And till this moment, we are talking about uh, the, the whole world is still looking in apathy, in full apathy for what is going on. And uh, and uh, we don't. And what is really what is happening right now is, is unbelievable. It's unbearable. We we have no word. We, we have no words to describe what is going on right now. That we are talking about more than a hundred and fifty Palestinians, uh, including the medical staff and including the Palestinian patients and the newborn babies who are really facing the imminent death till this moment. And uh, we can understand how, how, how difficult your job is right now. We saw uh, reporters being injured. We have seen reporters losing their families, reporters dying in this war. Um, how are you coping with day-to-day -day challenge that your job is right now? Yes, it's about everyone uh, and, and everyone, uh, every Palestinian, actually, every Palestinian citizen. Uh, here in the Gaza Strip. Actually, literally, there is no safer place for the Palestinians across Gaza Strip, even uh, those areas which were claimed by the Israeli occupation as safer places. Uh, the Palest we are talking about more than 40% of the Palestinian uh, casualties were from southern parts of Gaza Strip, those areas which, uh, which, were, demand which were demanded by the Israeli occupation uh, to, go, to go to. And, uh, and as you know, that uh, the vast majority of the people who fled Gaza Strip and they fled the northern part of Gaza Strip into the southern part, but the Israeli occupation deliberately targeted those people. And right now, as we are talking, there are many, many airstrikes targeting, uh, apparently, the surrounding areas of Gaza, of, of the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital, as we are talking right now. And uh, definitely, there would be many, many casualties uh, over, over those airstrikes. So this is the real situation. Actually, actually Literally, the people are struggling on a daily basis in order just to have any access to their basic demands, basic needs. And we are hearing right now uh, the sirens of the ambulances uh, bringing casualties yes. of, uh, of the ongoing relentless Israeli airstrikes, which, as I've mentioned, which are maintained on a regular basis against several areas of Gaza Strip. Yes, as you can see. As you can see in so the scene, you're saying there's me. an ambulance coming right now. We can see it on the screen. Was, yes, yes what? We, are, we are witnessing and we are observing that there are, as you can see, we have ambulances and definitely there are many casualties brought to the hospital uh, as a result of going to uh, Israeli airstrikes. So, जब हम बात कर रहे हैं तो हमें बता रहे हैं कि इस वक्त इसराइली स्ट्राइक कोई और एम्बुलेंस वहां पर आई है उसकी विजुअल ऑब्वियसली इतनी क्लियर नहीं है हम आपको दिखाते हैं वी कैन सी इट राइट नाउ कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प अस सी अ लिटिल बिट वी इफ इफ पॉसिबल अगेन प्लीज या सो 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 देयर आर मोर इंजर्ड पीपल कमिंग इन राइट नाउ एज यू आर टॉकिंग टू अस Yes, sure, sure. As you can see live on air, that there are many, uh, many casualties and many wounded people uh, uh, are being brought to the hospital right now. Yes, uh, so, this is the situation. This is the frequent and the regular scene that we are observing on a daily basis uh, for more than for more than 38 uh, consecutive days. Uh, we are talking about two major scenes happening on a daily basis, on a regular basis. Every moment we have the scene of the people who are being brought to the hospital uh, by the ambulances as the Israeli uh, airstrikes are maintained and continued against uh, several areas across all Gaza Strip. In addition to that, we are talking about the other scene, which about, as you can see, about 
thousands of the Palestinian refugees who took refuge and took this hospital as a shelter, and they are really deprived of any basic uh, uh, human needs or humanitarian needs in order to give them at least the protection, to give them at least the, in, in order to survive this kind of unprecedented situation. It's, it's worth mentioning that uh, the winter here in Gaza is around the corner, which means that we would witness more uh, more suffering of the Palestinian people and uh, more exacerbation of the dire situation that yes. we 